So we're at one of Vegas's nighttime hides. This is where we bring our guests in an evening after they've had their dinner to come and spot some of our nocturnal wildlife. Uh, here we get pine mines and badgers coming, and so we put some bait out tonight and hopefully we'll have some visitors. So while we do have both pine martens and badgers visiting this hide, we're really lucky in that we've got a whole family or clan of badgers that visit this hide from a nearby set. Great, so we just had a badger come into the hide. This is actually one that we've already identified. And we believe it's a male badger. We've named him Duncan, which in Gaelic can mean dark warrior. What's interesting about Duncan is that a couple of weeks ago, we saw him here with some really fresh wounds, especially on his neck. Um, and while badger male infighting isn't uncommon in this time of year, especially because the cubs are starting to appear and the badgers are being extremely territorial. We're keen to try and find out more about what's happened to Duncan and what this means for the clan going forward, but for tonight, it's just really nice to see Duncan out and about. Cool, so we're here today at our main set on site, which is the stronghold for our badger family. The set we have here is a fair size. It has about 30 entrances, but it's by no means the biggest. The record currently held um, for the European Badger set has 178 entrances and over half a mile of tunnels underground, which is just phenomenal. We've got a fair way to go before we beat that. It's a really exciting time for the Badger sets here at the minute. Uh, we've just passed the peak breeding season and we're going to hopefully start to see cubs from last year's breeding season emerging soon. We've seen a lot of bedding changes and the Badgers moving to different chambers, so hopefully that indicates that we have got some cubs, so fingers crossed that we'll see them soon. In regards to Duncan, and we know he was using this set and he was part of this clan last year, but we have not seen him here recently, and so we're wondering what's happened. And so we're going to be setting some trail cameras today to try and find out more. So camera traps are a really easy and affordable way to watch animal behaviour, not just for badgers, but anything you've got coming into your garden or local green space. And it's always exciting to come back and collect the cards and then check the data to see what you've got, which is what we'll be doing here in a few days' time.